then how would you say hello over with empathy uh, the whole purpose of this challenge was to uh, test codex so i guys it's me deepak and so this video is about uh, given title is about can open ai codex can it like actually solve competitive questions even in general how good it is so as you know uh, it's not publicly available with there are like a lot of reasons why gpt3 is not publicly available i will leave a link to the video which gives an idea but i will give a gist like it's really difficult to uh, figure out spam bot to have a like uh, near human level interaction so it's not able to figure out those and also it can tweet like people based on their previous tweets so it's really hard to figure out if uh, they were tweeting it or it's a fake news so fake news that bots are some of the reasons why you will think of publicly available until they figure this out uh, it is uh, the access is a bit tricky yet and uh, there are ways to get it there are also ways that you can you could definitely try codex okay so let let me give you some context about gpt uh, codex and uh, so it is a descendant of gpt3 and the main idea was uh, to be able to code what you want and it's pretty good if you just go on your website and check out the spacecraft one uh, let me show you this thing like this new context on what it can do uh so here you can see you just have to add in each text what you want and you'll be able to have it uh, so here's the link here you can like, like add this image they also then later uh say make it small uh center crop it circularly and things like that and that's how they were able to build this game so i'll leave the link to this uh, and some other videos of the open ai codex and this is basically what they are using in that get a co pilot and they have like enraged so much programmers about like oh uh, why like the whole issue is programmers said that they are using their code from the github to train this right so <laughs> they are like where is our cut eh open ai no <laughs> where is my check it just it's good in following instructions so Uh, if you know what you are doing, if you know the algorithm, you type the algorithm in English in quotes, and it will read it. And that's what I was doing in the OpenAI Codex challenge. Uh, initially, I was trying to solve the problem, but I remember, like uh, the whole purpose of this challenge was to uh, test Codex. So that's what I did. So what you have to do was just uh, there was this question that I had that there are uh, you have like encoded string, and you have to decode it based on a dictionary that they provide you. And as you will do, you have to check in the dictionary. And there is hierarchy. As you go down, uh, there is going to be like multiple dictionaries, uh, nested dictionaries on this one. And <clears throat> so that I will just uh, have a code here. So I have put a code in editing. And that's what it was. Uh, it was like it wasn't like a beautiful question, but that's what I did. I I just told the this written quotations that. Uh, if it's in the first hierarchy if the uh, type uh, type of the index value is string type uh, type of the suppose uh, the variable variable dictionary is uh, tree and the tree index 0 is a string that means uh, it's in the this level of hierarchy that you are in otherwise just go inside yeah i'll just put this one otherwise i will just put uh, put the string and go back to the original tree otherwise i will just uh, go inside the new uh, go inside the dictionary to the dictionary and get a fine string type string type and that's for the ported although there was one improvement that i had to do and uh, that was going to be important like although i had some <coughs> uh, let me just talk about open air code open air code challenge like it's really intriguing uh <clears throat> they were tweeted this that uh, because of the de- demand the server isn't working <laughs> also one of my favorite comment was they coded the the server with the codex that's why it's not working <clears throat> but that was the issue uh, that they uh, that they fixed it 
but other than that the challenge was okay hey is just using the same api everyone's going to get access to um so you could build the exact spot percent right and tie up multiple lines of code and uh, solve our coding so benchmark today uh, we are that the presenting one, model that the problem well i'm not sure what that includes because when i was reading the codex it had like typos in it uh like at the end of the whole code it will just randomly add a string or something sometimes more more than some time sometimes more square bracket okay. <laughs> Write my whole project and make it a name for the poster. That's like what Code Porsche would say. <laughs> like I, I'm like seriously interested in knowing if I can put my questions there and it will just at least provide me the approach. And how would you say hello over there? Even I don't. Know. English is not my first language. I don't know. Oh, but okay. I think it's time. Okay. I think it's time to start saying nice things to my toaster. Learn to code, they said. There are a lot of work opportunities. It's time to like start preparing for Skynet. Or even best. What was the name of that virus in the power of your RTI? I don't know. Magix, yes. It was supposed to be an AI, but they were calling it a virus or something to infect. I mean, I see this, uh, I see this uh, things repeatedly where people are like, now it's game over. What's next? Like there was a time when people had a job of like, as long as the people had job that are obsolete nowadays. <laughs> Obsolete jobs nowadays. Okay. I guess we will level this. So this is a video about how. Uh, yeah, let's work. Let's see if I can change the color. The color on the next instruction will be to draw a circle where I click with my mouse. Let's see if that works. And yeah, it does work. Let's see if I can change the color and keep doing that. Alright. Yes, this one and just give it an idea about how to do this. Okay, for somebody who's like that, picked down a moment. And the next thing that I'm going to do is move the file. And yeah, it does work. And what I'm using is the. That's what I want to say about the codex. Like, I think it's a great opportunity. It, uh, it, shows us that uh, uh, there are a lot of things that are going to be in the future that uh, uh, that we need. I, I, I mean, there's always going to be, always going to be job for us. We just have to be improvised and uh, get at pace with the world, learn new skills always. Uh, there's never time to slack off. Uh, that's what we can do and hope for the best. Uh, yeah, subscribe, press the bell icon. I'll try and edit out this in a better way.